In a deft sleight of hand, Osaka decides on a double election. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. Hi everyone, welcome back to Tokyo on Fire. Today is March 19th, 2019. I'm here with Michael Chuchek again. Michael, welcome. It's great to be back. There's a lot going on, isn't there? Yes, but we really have to buckle down and get onto just one issue right, right. now. Right, Osaka. A double election, what a clever thing to come up with. Well, it's, a, it's really an amazing switch that they come up with. They, they take the rules. Tag and, team. And, 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 and bend them around and make them into their own advantage. But let's talk about who the actors are and what, and what the issues are. Okay, one of the issues is that we've got a general election and then we've got an election for the assembly. And the two of those were kind of conflagulated. The prefectural governor and the city mayor decided to get their elections over and done with so that we can save some money. Well, the whole thing is that the, we have, coming up in April, the, what are called the unified local elections. They're not unified, they're spread out all over the calendar, but enough of them are concentrated in this part of the year on a four-year cycle that they had something Somewhat to, staggered, but... Yeah, they have something right. to work with. Uh, and one of the things that's not in line with that is are the, the main positions, the mayors of Osaka and the uh, governorship of Osaka, who, of the Osaka prefecture. Uh, and th the governor and the mayor, who are of the same party, who are basically interchangeable, had decided to make themselves interchangeable so as to reset the calendar. Right, it never used, it didn't used to be like that. I mean, they used to be at loggerheads with one another, right? Yeah, the, 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 uh, the, the system is that you're supposed to elect the mayor, the governor, and the assemblies all at the same time in a single election. Mm -hmm. That doesn't happen in many communities now because of resignations, deaths, causing by-elections. All of this is usually discombobulated. Right. And that was the case in Osaka. But in Osaka, there is a political issue, namely that the party that represents Osaka, Osaka Ishin no Kai, uh, is a regional party, has plans for Osaka Prefecture to convert it into a metropolitan district. Dominating Tokyo. And to, to get even with Tokyo, yes. to, to become the other pole sure. in the country. And a party had formed on this basis and this idea. A laudable objective. And, 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 and has done quite well, but has never been able to put its plan into place. Right. In order to get that plan to work, they need the cooperation of some other party. And that some other party for the longest time was the Kometo. Was. Was. Uh, the <laughs> Kometo is the coalition ally of the LDP, and the LDP wants to be in control of Osaka once again. And Osaka also has the LDP, right? And it has the LDP, and it has, uh, they, the, the Liberal Democratic Party wants to get back in, the bu in business there, so it leaned on its coalition partner in national politics, the Kometo, stop playing around with Ishii no Kai, come back to us. Mm -hmm. And the Kometo said, you're right, we should do that. And that was just recently. And that was just recently. To the response of Ishii no Kai saying, you betrayed us, you have, you have let us down, was this double election. Mm -hmm. The very bizarre sight of the mayor of Osaka and the governor of the prefecture both resigning and then pledging to vote for, right. to run for each other's seats. Very clever though, isn't it? it? It's clever, but you have to know all of the, sure. the various rules and regulations involving the various kinds of things that can be done, but they've done it. Mm -hmm. Is that really the issue, playing games with the electorate? That's what the Komeito is saying, that's what the LDP is saying, that's what the Japan Communist Party is mm -hmm. saying. It's been a, an, a Every other party except Ishim no Kai has all glommed onto the same songbook. Right. This is just for them. We are more responsible. We are better than this. We are the true Osakans. Right. These are a bunch of parvenus with their 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 plan that they have. They've and they've always had, and that's the only thing they've got. Mm -hmm. So that's what the the fight is going to be in Osaka. In, in just a couple of days, mm -hmm. really, uh, because today is if, tomorrow will be officially the day that they resign and start running for each other's places. Uh, you know, who cares, right? Who, what is this all about? Is it about just changing the stationery in Osaka Prefecture so that it's now 
Osaka Metropolitan District, just like it is here in, in Tokyo. I vote for that. Why would you vote for that? I think it's a great idea. Well, why? Because why not have a metropolis in Osaka that represents the entire prefecture? I mean, like, Tokyo has that. Yes, but the thing is, what, what's the difference? What's the difference for the average Osakan citizen? That's the question that the, uh, the opposition parties, and in this case, the opposition it's party- It's political power, of course, right? They want political power, they want to ab absorb political power so they can do things, they can get things done their way. And the question is, what else do they want to do? What is it that Osaka Ishinokai is trying to do? Now, change Osaka city and prefecture into one giant metropolitan district, right. just like Tokyo. Fine. Once you've done that, what's the point of any of it? Well, probably it is just to crush the communists and Komeito and, I mean, Ishinokai. I mean, it's, it's the, the whole dream ever since it was initiated by uh, Hashimoto. Hashimoto was we, we need to have a political force here in Osaka and in Tokyo too. It didn't work so much in Tokyo. Well, in this case, what they're thinking about is the fact that Osaka is declining relative and has been declining relative Tokyo for many decades. And it, it's, it's a process that they'd somehow like to stop. And that's just, that's the overarching right. issue here. Can Osaka be a center? now? Mr. Abe, based in Tokyo and grew up in Tokyo because he went to schools in Tokyo, has been very accommodating toward this plan. He's given the summit, this, the, the G20 summit is being hosted mm. in Osaka. Uh, he right. pushed very hard for the World's Fair in 2025, which will also be held in Osaka. Osaka is not forgotten by the forces in Tokyo, but nevertheless, they have this party, which has a chip on its shoulder. It does. About, uh, this, the, the entire region does. The, the entire, sure. Yeah, the Kansai has a re chip on its shoulder about not being as significant as Tokyo in that its population is declining for the most part. Tokyo continues to grow uh, you know, year by year. It's just becoming more and more the center of the, si of the mm -hmm. country. Uh, and... So it's regional pride, and what does that mean? Now, in terms of the inner, inner politics of Japan, however, and the things that can be done to revive regions, uh, yeah. there's, a, there's another issue there entirely. Mm -hmm. Now, Ishin no Kai wants to promote a special aura for, for Osaka, a, a special idea for Osaka. And the Komeito was cool with that, but the Komeito, uh, was cool also with Koike Yuriko's fighting against the LDP in Tokyo as well. And Komeito was, is, the, is the actor here. Mm -hmm. It's the national actor. It's the story here. It, everyone talks about Ishin no Kai, its plans, its switches. But right. what this is about is the realignment of Komeito and its solidifying, if not hardening, relationship with the LDP. Mm -hmm. The LDP lost control of the Komeito both in Osaka where it made a relationship with Nippon Ishinokai, and in Tokyo, where it made the relationship with the local forces that first put Koike into power and then got him an anti-LDP majority in the assembly in Tokyo. Both of those, those powers are being challenged in April right. in the local elections. Koike's party and people are going to be wiped out in, in Tokyo. Uh, and in Osaka and its its local elections, there's a very good chance that Ishin no Kai will have will get seriously knocked around as well. And then we have in a few months down the line, cooperation in the House of Councillors election right, again, right. where go back a few years, Komeito's doing playing footsie with regionalist powers. Mm -hmm. The outcome in the in the House of Councillors elections will be very different. But now the, the LDP has just really been putting the pressure on the Komeito, come back to us. Right. We have a national alliance. We need it to be a regional alliance as well. And that is the, that's, the, the, that's the piece that's moving around mm -hmm. in the, behind all of this. Let's get back to Osaka and the uh, predominance of Ishin no Kai in the General Assembly, also in the prefectural governor's race. There is a balance there. Probably Ishin no Kai is a, a, a minority party. It wants to just, I mean, it's its not razor thin, but they have to do extremely well if they're going to succeed in this venture, right? Well, the, the, okay, the, the, it, it seems to me almost guaranteed 
that despite the fact it, it looks highly opportunistic to switch positions and run uh, for each other's posts, I think that both of the uh, the governor, the current governor who's running to be mayor, and the current mayor who's going to be running to be governor, I think they're both shoe ins. Maybe yes, you have you know, no, no, I agree. I yeah, agree. I think right. they are. They're in. I think that there's simply not enough interest in this kind of election to get people to come to the polls to vote against them. Mm -hmm. Not so much vote for them, but vote against right. them. Status quo. Yeah, the right. status. Keep the status quo, and and it, it's they were really interchangeable. First of all. Matsuichiro, the head of the party, absolutely a non-entity. There's nothing interesting you can say about him. Uh, and any other member of the party, they're, 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 they're there, mm -hmm. basically. Now, fine. Okay, so what, what does that do for Osaka? I don't know. Mm -hmm. you know I don't see where, where it helps Osaka any. But they, they, what they will have is those two in position for four straight years. Right. They get to say, look, we reset the clock, we've realigned the local assembly elections and these two main posts, and everything starts for, and you, you will be around for four years, so what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. You have to learn to live with us, you're going to have to live with our plan. That's yeah. what I think, I think that's the cram down that's happening Well, I, I think probably just having a unity of forces at this point in time probably guarantees things coming down the path, for example, integrated resorts. Now they have a, a, a unified front where they can they can generate this. And let's say they do land a, an integrated resort in Osaka. They'll need the local communities and the local assemblies to be entirely on board. That's right. I agree. And, and voters, um, although we've been here for four years, we're going to go for election again. And how much better is your life now than it was four years ago? Yeah, but, right? the, but the thing is for the whole, the, the real key to the background of it has been Abe Shinzo and his relationship with the top leadership of mm -hmm. Ishin no Kai. Because Abe has been cultivating- He's been very delicate, right? Yes, he, he has dinner all the time with Hashimoto Toru, who is no longer the head of the party, but still the spiritual leader of the party, has dinner and lunches mm -hmm. with uh, Matsui all the time. And he's been doing that in order to keep their votes in the House of Councillors for that yes. all-important right. constitutional revision vote, if it ever happens. Well, here's the proof. And the thing is, that's, that's the game. Here. That's right. That's The proof is in the pudding for the House of Councillors election. All of this is prelude, right? It's all prelude yes. for it. If, and, and the thing is, if you look at the national polls for Ishii no Kai, it looks disastrous. You know, they, they have 2.5% support over all of the country. But in Osaka, sure. in the district election there, in, and for proportional seats, they may get something that makes them a viable and important ally. Assuming that Mr. Abe and the Kometo can get their acts together and get enough seats so mm -hmm. that they have the two thirds majorities in the House of Councillors. That's the big background in, to all of this the loss of a two-thirds majority right. by the forces that want to revise the Constitution. And so we have a multi-level game going on. Right. Local, IR, the, the question of the integrated resorts and, and a casino. Up middle level, prefectures, you know, the competition between Tokyo and Osaka. And then in the way in the background, revising the Constitution. Right. And don't forget about the cost and savings for stationary. They're going to have to change yes. all the stationery. <laughs> Double elections coming up soon in Osaka portends what's going to be happening for the House of Councillors elections and everything that happens in between. We're going to continue to watch this. You should too.